This is very similar to exercise 1A, where we're going to be forecasting out into the future. And in this case, we'll be forecasting out temperatures instead of profit. We've already installed the prerequisite package forecast. So if you'd like, go ahead and pause the video and try to work through this exercise on your own. Uh, otherwise, if you'd like to follow along, let's jump right in. Let's navigate to exercise 1B temp forecast. Make sure you have the temp forecasting data set selected. And let's navigate to the calc fields dashboard and pull the code for our date forecast. Copy. Create a new field called date forecast. Once again, this code is adding one additional year to the last date value we have. All right, and now let's create our temperature forecast field. So we'll come back to our calc fields dashboard, copy the temp forecast, create a new calculated field. Hit apply. And at this point in time, if you'd like to swap out the average temperature Fahrenheit for Celsius, feel free to. But in this exercise, I'll be using the Fahrenheit temperature. All right, so let's go ahead and add our date forecast to our column shelf. We'll set this to be a continuous week. making sure that show missing values is selected. And the next step is to add the temperature Fahrenheit to the row shelf. So we have a baseline and I'll just make sure this is set to average. And then I'll drag out the temp forecast to the right of that field. Okay, so we have a lot of data being plotted here. So I'd recommend consolidating down to just a few years. So let's drag the date forecast field onto filters, select years. And let's take the last five years. So 2015 through 2019 and hit apply. Once again, in order to get both of these on the same chart, we'll right click, dual axis, synchronize, and then we'll move the temp forecast field to the left. And now we have our actuals followed by our forecasted values. This concludes the exercise on time series analysis using both profit and temperature data and using the forecast R package. In the next exercise, we'll take a look at how we can plot out clusters using R.